All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to attempt to replace the flex disc on my manual five-speed disco. Um, again, one of the long lists of random maintenance items that I'm trying to perform on this truck, at least the, as many DIY things as I can. This is gonna be one of them. Um, and there's no actual video on how to do this or mine, which is odd. I guess people don't really replace these that often. Uh, but mine, as you saw, was cracked and broken like a BMW. Uh, I've got some vibrations while driving, so I decided I'm going to replace it. Uh, I have not really looked up how to do this. You know, how, how hard it can be. It's just nuts and bolts, right? So we're going to pull the old one off if we can and slap this one on. Now join me under the truck. So where is it? All right, there it is. There's the old one. I had the first three bolts off. I have my uh, handy dandy impact, which is useless in this situation, but I think the torque spec there is only like 72 newton meters, so I didn't really need it, but it's also tough to get it in an angle. You do need uh, a 19 and uh, another 19 socket to get it off. So like I said, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but again, I feel like I remove all the bolts and then I'll pull the drive shaft out or away and then replace. That nah, sounds like a decent plan. So that's, uh, let's see if we can get that knocked down. Ooh, just goes. All right, so current status, all the bolts out but one. I'm gonna just leave this jack around the drive shaft just to kind of brace it so it doesn't fall. Then I'm gonna try to get that last bolt out and maybe just slip this in? I don't know. Again, we'll see. Whew. All right, so that escalated quickly. So it's not, it is nuts and bolts, but it's not the right nuts and bolts that I was counting on. It's other nuts and bolts. Um, so prop shaft is out. Again, all I did differently that you guys didn't see was just remove the four bolts that held the prop shaft uh, to the brake torquey thing. Um, and here's that old Gibo, which is obviously shot and not, not good at all. Um, here's the new one. Oh, look, there's that bit that I was supposed to replace that I'm probably not going to. Um, but you know, eh, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll see how long that lasts. And, uh, yeah. And I wish that one didn't look so bad in there, but whatever. I know how to do it now. So it won't be that bad if I want to pull it again. So, um, let's get this new one on and get everything buttoned back up. Again, there's no video telling you how to do this, so no one said you have to remove the whole drive shaft to do this, um, but yeah, live and learn. <gasps> All right, day two, and I'm doing this quick and easy way, I believe. Since this is taking a little more time than I kind of anticipated, uh, and it did a rain last night, luckily, and I've got this truck absolutely just crammed in my driveway and it's limiting me doing anything else and also impeding my ability to go pick up my latest acquisition which will be in the next video or i might post it before this video depending how lazy i'm not i bought the cheapest running and driving lr4 in the country and that is no bullshit this is this is real i received the key in a baggie and it wasn't even a key so quick caveat so let's try to get this buttoned up so i can forget about it because i'm way more excited about picking up this piece of junk that i just bought uh than putting in this drive shaft so let's let's get on with it All right, so just like your favorite episodes of This Old House, uh, you just kind of show in or zoom in when it's over and go, oh, that's just how you get it done, bud. Uh, so yeah, no, I got that all bolted back in. Not hard, just have to get these last four bolts from the bell housing. Well, my arm is sore from reaching. I should not have taken it off the ramps. 
just confusing things, but almost done. Have to get those bolts tightened in and I'll get her off here and uh, take her for a spin. See what I did. Did, I, did anything even feel better? Who knows? But this thing was pretty chooched. It was pretty visually not great. So, you know, for 30, 40 bucks, why not? Okay, let's, uh, ah, new love spot. Let's see what she does. I don't have my camera mount thing again. I don't know where it went. Uh, but I guess the goal to see is how much additional or lack thereof vibration we have from the drivetrain. And so far, feels fine. Shaft hasn't fallen out yet. All right, so I'll take it. What I'm gonna do though is definitely want to. Uh, how cute is that? Oh, uh, I want to go and tighten those bolts a little more after I've kind of driven it around and reseat them. Um, I'll crawl under there and do that later. Um, but you know, I got just got a little power steering wine that's gonna be new. So okay, well that's. Really it for this video. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of time to throw this together. Um, so again, I'm just trying to put band-aids on things. <laughs> oh, ooh, truck feels fine. Um, next thing on the list before we go pick up the LR4, well, that's some other time. I have the tool to tighten or attempt to just tighten the front wheel bearings because hopefully I don't need uh all new i mean i'm sure they need to be repacked at some point every every rover needs it done um man where's the tool i can't find my 54 millimeter tool i'm sure it's in here somewhere great well that'll be the next video we're gonna pull the hubs off pull the wheel off and mess around with that so until then thank you guys for watching uh, i really appreciate all the comments everything in the video so far um please subscribe it actually uh it really helps support the channel and what I'm doing here and uh, stay tuned for the next one. So appreciate it. Have a good one.